It is time to take it back to the basics. We're talking about the right way to make the classic cocktails. And who better to show us than the cocktail chemist himself, Demetrius Zaharitis. Hello. We're so happy to have you. You know, so the trend now is you go back. out and you have these cocktails that you know taste like this amazing thing, but they're really far away from uh, you know a martini is no longer a martini when you go sure, out. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, bartenders and uh, establishments are getting better in general these days uh, to make the the classics uh, in in the proper way using fresh ingredients and stuff like that. I mean, when I first started about twenty whatever years ago, uh, I made everything wrong. So I educated myself, and I, <laughs> as long as it was the right color was the first piece of advice I ever got. As long as it's the right, right color, color, you're good. All right. So, uh, you know, so I educated myself, and now a lot of bartenders are doing the same thing. So uh, why not at home make a make a So proper, we're starting with an old-fashioned? We're starting with an old-fashioned. So I'm going to do twists on all these classes. So we're going to start an old-fashioned. Uh, usually it's two ounces of bourbon. I'm going to do an ounce and a half of bourbon. Okay. And uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of a honey... Uh, twang to it. So another half an ounce of uh, a Greek honey liqueur called Rakomelo. So we're going to do about two ounces of that. And then just to boost up the sweetness, we're going to do a little quarter ounce of uh, simple syrup. So equal parts sugar and water. Uh, some whiskey barrel-aged bitters, just a couple dashes. Uh, one dash of orange bitters. So that's your old-fashioned. Sugar, spirit, water, bitters. And that's most it. times people are allowed to making this wrong. What are they doing wrong usually? Uh, I mean, there's there's another version where they muddle uh, the fruit. You've probably seen that. Muddle the cherry, oh. muddle the orange. This is the classic way. Not saying that way is wrong, but this is a lot easier. Uh, three simple ingredients. Booze, sweetener, and bitters. And, and uh, the bitters do you get at, 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 a, at a liquor store? Or do you you can get those actually in the supermarket as in well. In the supermarket, yeah. okay. Yep. So we just give it a quick stir, and that's another thing a lot of people do, is they shake it. Uh, you don't want to shake a cocktail that does not have citrus in it. So uh -huh. we just have nice, so this is meant to kind of, you know, roll off the tongue, be a little bit heavier on a palate, and it's definitely a stronger cocktail because we, you know, don't have anything but booze in it pretty much. So right. there's the, uh, right the Greek way, uh, old fashioned, if you would. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not a huge whiskey fan, but it is, it's a, it's a very delicious. Good. We bumped up the sweetness drink. a little bit just yeah, you you know, for the afternoon. I have to make it through the segment, so that's <laughs> okay. really short. Let me look at the next one. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do a Cosmo now. Cosmo, another cocktail that's you know, pretty butchered using like... Uh, I have never seen a Cosmo made the same way twice. Uh, everywhere exactly. you go, yeah, it's, it's done with a sour a mix way. or something or roses lime. Just you don't want to do that. Yeah, okay. We're doing uh, so we're going to do a, a peach Cosmo. So we use a Litchfield Distillery peach uh, vodka, peaches right from here from Guilford from Bishop's Farms. Uh, we're doing a couple ounces of that. Uh, we're going to do, a, and then the rest is all uh, customary, uh, traditional. Um, doing about a, what is it? About a half ounce of uh, this is triple sec, so an orange liqueur. Uh, okay. Then we're using fresh lime juice, always fresh lime, about uh, half an ounce, about three quarters of an ounce actually. Uh, a fresh lime juice, and then we're using our uh, friends uh, from Ripe. Their amazing cranberry I love juice. Love the local ingredients. Bit. Everything is so pretty. So it should you know. a, a proper Cosmo should be pink. Correct. Got to make it the right Correct. color. Right? Correct. Exactly. <laughs> and then this is uh, so we're using fresh citrus. So this is gonna be shaken. You want to dilute it, and you want to do. You want to get some bubbles in there and make a little effervescent. Now a lot of people say it should be a light pink as opposed to a dark pink. Does that make a uh, difference? Uh, it doesn't I, make a difference. Nah, not really. Okay. I mean, I, I. I Think that uh, it also depends on the cranberry juice you use. Okay. Uh, sometimes cranberry juice might be a little bit lighter in color, uh, so it's gonna make it, the drink look lighter. That's why I use ripe because it's consistent all second. year round. We're gonna. Okay. There we go. Should we try this, Karen? You can try. You want to try? I'll let you, <laughs> you go first. It's your favorite right. drink. Okay. That's your drink. I might take That's why I brought it today for Scott. Others. That's a very different taste with the peach vodka. With the peach, yes. Yeah, exactly. It's not uh, as sweet. Customarily, you use uh, citrus vodka, so uh, a lemon-flavored vodka. It's it's not as sweet yep. as the typical uh, traditional cocktail sure. that I've had. Yep. Okay, very good. good. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to do a daiquiri. Uh, we were talking before. You said a it's not frozen. daiquiri's not frozen? Like a da real daiquiri's no, not frozen? real daiquiri, uh, Cuba, uh, we're, you know, Cuban style. We're both style. learning something new We're here. doing... <laughs> Uh, sugar, so we're using uh, some kind of sweetener. We're doing rum, and we're doing lime juice. Three simple ingredients, and you're done. Oh, yeah. uh, today we're going to use two different kinds of rum. Uh, we're actually going to do a pineapple rum. Pineapple rum. Yep, we're doing a little bit, about, about an ounce and a half of pineapple rum. And then we're going to use a uh, rum agricole. So this is from the island of Martinique. It uh, lends a little bit of an earthiness to it, a little grassy notes. Funky. We call it funky. Okay. So it's got a little bit of the funk. That's what that brings us. Uh, we're using demerara sugar instead of uh, white sugar. This is uh, basically unrefined sugar. We're doing about a half an ounce of that. I like my daiquiris a little stronger, so I go less sugar and less citrus. So this has nothing citrus. to do with the strawberry daiquiri with the whipped cream that you get at a resort? Uh, no. Okay. Not really. 
not say that those are not delicious. I mean, I listen. I've uh, I've uh, had a couple of those that, in my that, day. That, I thought it was. <laughs> what the heck do I know? Another quick shake because we're again we're using lime juice in this as well. I thought a jacker was just another version of a pina colada. Oh, exactly. <laughs> that's all. I know. Okay. And that's it. That's all we. It's it's three simple ingredients. You want to hold that for him? Put it here. Yeah. Okay. And don't move the glass because they're gonna come in and get a nice shot of it. There it is. How beautiful do that. is that? Then usually it's a fresh lime right, Cara, wheel or something, swig. and then that one's you. That one's me too. Mm -hmm. All right, pass it on. You're making Scott do all the work today. Oh my goodness gracious. He's very, he's very good at this. Okay. <laughs> I had a lot of beignet. <laughs> mm, that's my Teamwork. favorite. That's my favorite. You Is like it that really? more yeah. than the coffee? Pineapple yeah. daiquiri. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Demetrius. Beautiful, I love it. Well, now you know how to make the classics. Thank you so much, Demetrius. Of course, thank you. All right, you can get in touch with Demetrius and see these drink recipes and, uh, and others right on his Facebook page. Just search The Cocktail Chemist.